Hello everyone, this is John Frausto with TopspinTennis.com. In this video, I'm going to do a forehand analysis on Grigor Dimitrov. I'm also going to share with you some interesting facts about him and then also share some of the similarities he and Roger Federer have on their forehand and then some of the differences as well. Enjoy the video. I want to thank one of my YouTube subscribers, Dominic Robinson, for recommending this video analysis. Really appreciate your input. All right, so um, what I'm going to do is uh, just going to go ahead and show you some a full, like the the footage of of Grigor hitting his forehand here, and so you can see what it looks like from start to finish. Um, he does uh, hail from Bulgaria. He's a huge star there. And um, as a junior, he won the 2008 Wimbledon junior title. And he also won the U.S. Open uh, junior title in 2008. So very successful year. Great career as a junior. He, he reached number one on the ITF rankings. Uh, his dad was uh, or it was a, a teaching pro and kind of helped him bring him through the ranks as a junior. And uh, his mother was a professional volleyball player. So genetically, uh, the, you know, the, the genes are there. So um, my question for you is he had a great junior career. Will that translate into onto the ATP tour? He's had some success on the ATP tour, but has not won a grand slam. Can he win a Grand Slam at that at the ATP uh, level? There's a lot of men and women on the tour that are gifted like him athletically, in great shape, have the team around him that uh, you know help with the success. But you know, at the end of the day, it comes down to the player and do they have it between the ears? Can Grigor do it? Can he win the Grand Slam? Uh, be interested in your thoughts below. All right, so let's um, let's go ahead and uh, let's look at the uh, at the grip, right? So he's in the ready position in the video on the left. Uh, oh, before I get into that, I do want to share with you the video on the left. He's just hitting a neutral ball, and it's just kind of just rallying deep down the middle uh, of the video on the left. The video on the right, he's actually it's it's point play. And he's going to receive the ball, and he's going to be, let's say, neutral aggressive with the ball. And he's going to take it deep to the left corner, look to hurt his opponent. So there are two different scenarios here, and they do make a difference as far as the technique. And the big one, the big difference is just look at the preparation, right? So I've got these two videos. They are in sync on the contact but notice the video on the on the right, how he's already starting to get, he's got a full unit turn and the racket head is already starting to drop. So two, two forehands, but completely different as far as the setup and the preparation, but they are in sync on the contact. So anyway, that does, the type of ball you're hitting will determine the technique and how quick you, you set up. So be, be aware of that. All right, so ready position in the video on the left, and let's just look at that grip. He is in an Eastern forehand grip, uh, like Federer, but just look at the separation of the fingers here. Uh, he does have that trigger finger uh, with that right hand. So substantial uh, finger separation there. All right, the other thing I want you to see is Notice as he starts roped taking that unit turn here, I want you to notice the non-hitting hand on the throat of the racket and how it'll assist in prepping it into that grip, right? I've got to thank my friend Peter here because notice how the non the, the hitting hand, watch, what he'll do is take that arrow out there watch what he does here with that not how that the fingers will kind of open up see that and this left hand is really going to do the majority of the work with prepping that racket it's very subtle but so important when you're hitting that forehand to use that non-hitting hand 
to get into the ideal eastern grip for Dimitrov on this stroke. Keep that in mind. All right, so this first position here, notice how he's, his strings are kind of pointing down to the ground, right? Signature position, I'll tell some of my students to show the strings to the ball, the incoming ball, to prep. But he is getting a good unit turn here and starting to prep that racket. All right, let's look at the release of the non-hitting hand here. See that? Right about in that position is where he releases. So the non-hitting hand is going to release. Notice the racket head in comparison to, to his hitting hand, right? Not as substantial as someone like uh, Dominic Team, uh, but that racket head is in front of that hand, right? And that's where we're going to get some of that lag at the top and bottom with that racket head. The other thing too, and one big difference is just notice that racket head position compared to his to his head, how it's substantially higher and more so than what Federer would do in this position. All right, so let's look at the loading, the loading phase. That's where we get, I'm gonna look at this, look at that knee there. Just notice how he loads. There's the full load. See how that knee is not going down anymore? Watch. Here's the full load right there. And this is that trophy position, right? Notice how the non-hitting arm is extended, racket head is up, and he's loading on that right leg. In this position, great little teaching tip here. In this position, be mindful that when you load on that right leg, I like to have, let's just say 90% of your weight will be on that right foot. 10% will be on the left foot. Just good ratios to be mindful of, okay? So we load on that right leg, and then as we go to the ball, we're gonna pull up and across, and we'll finish. You'll see later on that 100% of Grigor's weight will be on that foot. All right, so good trophy pose. Federer does not get here as much as Grigor does. And what I mean by that is just notice how those strings are sh kind of showing to that back fence. Um, team gets into that, shows the string to the back fence. Djokovic will show those strings to the back fence. Federer doesn't. So there's another little subtle difference on the stroke. So good loading phase here. Uh, one thing I want you to watch too is as that racket starts dropping here, notice how like Federer, like the pros, notice how that racket head will not get, will not, will always stay on the right side of that plane, right? So a little bit more compact, but by doing that, he's going to get better leg. All right, so let's look at the racket drop. Here's a similarity between Dimitrov and Federer. Notice how those strings are pointing to the ground here in this position. And then I want to show you that leg. Substantial racket head leg here. So let's show you this. Racket head is to the outside of the hand, correct? Let's see how many frames. Let's take a few more frames now. Look at the difference. Notice how the racket head is to the inside of the hand. And that happens, one, because you have a relaxed grip, and two, by keeping that hand and racket on the right side of that plane. All right, so now his hand is to the inside of the ball, and this is where you get that leg, and then he goes from inside out to the ball. There's the contact point. Notice how he's finding that ball out in front, and then also look at the straight arm position there with Grigor. He gets into a very, very strong position, like Federer. And look at that power position. Notice how that racket head is trailing behind the hand yet. And that, that's where you get that leverage on the ball. One other little subtlety here between Grigor and Federer. Notice how Grigor starts pulling his head up and starts looking to see where the ball's going. Where do you think Federer would be here? Federer would still have his chin down to the ground 
not looking up to see where the ball is and getting like Dimitrov, but they get that rotation around that access. All right, so now he's going to pull up and across. Well, I want to take it back to the contact point. I forgot. I want to show you this too. Notice how Dimitrov, and you see this with Federer a lot. Notice how he's hitting with the bottom third of the strings, right? The pros do that because the face is slightly closed. They're getting so much racket head speed um, and lift that if they don't hit with that bottom third, that ball's going to sail on them. Now, he did it more so in this video. You're going to see, watch the racket angle. Watch it close here. That's one frame. Here's two frames. Here's three and four and five. Isn't that something? Notice how, so he, there was a little bit of a miss hit, but look at how relaxed he is. That doesn't happen unless you have a relaxed grip. And then let's look at the follow through. Look at how he wraps that racket around him. And where is all the weight? 100% of the weight now is on the left foot. Great little tip there. And a lot of the pros do this. But he's very limber, very flexible. Notice here in this video how you can see his back. And uh, from here, he'll, he's going to recover and get ready for the next shot. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. What I'm going to do is just show you one more time the stroke. We'll play it out uh, in full. I hope you enjoyed it. If, if you liked the video, please hit the like button below. If you really like the video, please share it with your friends, family, coaches, parents. I think this really, really can help them. And then don't forget to hit that notification bell below so you get updates on my, on my newest videos. Enjoy your day.